hello everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing absolutely well guys in this video we will be seeing cognizant gen c phase 2 okay exam updates basically gen c uh, cognizant has started its phase 2 examinations and already the emails are out we will be talking in detail and for all those candidates who have already completed their assessments are and are waiting for the interview updates i will also be sharing some important tips and tricks for your interviews some important interview checklist that is what is you need to carry in while going for your interviews so basically if you watch this video you will get a complete detail from where to prepare how to prepare and you will get a short short way of how can you clear your cognizant gen c assessments without wasting any times let's get started with our today's video before that if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet because it is going to be super helpful i'm going to post more preparation videos related to your gen c assessments and interviews make sure that you don't forget to subscribe otherwise you will you will be missing on a lot of updates for all those who are preparing for your gen c assessments make sure to check this playlist this is a must check because already many who has prepared from these videos have already cleared their communication aptitude and technical assessment and for those who are preparing for your interviews go to the down or bottom part of this playlist you will find a lot of preparation interview experience videos those will be very helpful for you because those uh, ex interview experiences are of actual selected candidates okay so you will also get to know what kinds of question you will get in your interviews now guys before we dive deep into today's videos i just want to think from you guys if you are finding it helpful please write the word helpful in the comment box and let me know that this is helpful because with that only i get to know i have to post uh, further videos related to this or not and whatever is your exam dates or interview dates please mention that based on that i will be posting more interview questions and assessment questions for all of you related to your aptitude and technical assessments also so let's see the first thing that we have today see first of all cognizant has announced its phase 2 hiring phase 1 has recently completed like last week we have seen that uh, candidates got their aptitude communication and technical assessment cleared in the last week now phase 2 is there phase 2 means what now again the same uh, like you know examination will happen for remaining candidates because from many time from long time i was getting this doubt that we have also registered but we didn't got anything and i was replying the same thing to all the queries that please wait for some time cognizant does the hiring in phases so if you have not got any reply till now wait for some time you will also get your assessment emails so i have also taken the assessment email screenshot here you can see dear candidate greeting from cognizant we are pleased to share you that that, uh, that you have advanced to the next steps in the hiring process and are eligible for the assessment scheduled from March 13 onwards. Please be advised that forthcoming assessment uh, is, needs a prior system check. Okay. Now, when are the dates for the what are the dates for your assessments? You will be having your aptitude assessment this time first on 13th and 17th, and then after that you are going to have your communication assessment, okay, which is on 18th, and then final technical assessment is going to happen on 19th of March. Let me know if you have also got what dates you have got, okay, and please comment down that date because that is very important for me to know. Based on that only, I will be posting content, okay, and I already have actual questions from the last week assessment from candidates who have shared, okay, so I will be posting videos on that. Uh, I will be taking questions and. And solution answers and i will be giving you now uh, i have already discussed these days let's move forward and see what all other updates that we have see uh, if you are not aware cognizant gens cognizant is hiring through gen c for three different profiles first one is your gen c which is paying you 4 lpa second one is your gen c pro which is paying, paying you 5.4 lpa and third one is your gen c next which is paying you 6.575 lpa now i would suggest or i would recommend all the candidates out there who are going to appear for gen c that please keep your focus gen c next okay because when you keep your focus as gen c next then you uh, if you don't perform well also you will come or you will get a gen c basic gen c package okay otherwise if you are preparing only for gen c then uh, if you did a little bit uh, bad also in your you know assessments and interviews then there is no chance that you get shortlisted okay so always keep your goal high so if you keep your goal high maybe you will achieve that goal or at least you will achieve a little bit lower than that okay moving on so now let's talk about the phase one results and interview updates for all the candidates who have appeared for the assessments in the last week okay these are the updates for them see first of all interview calls are expected from 23rd of march onwards so please prepare for your interviews from now only if you have not started this is very important because otherwise you will not get much time you will just be just having one or two days at the end to prepare and then you can't clear because you might also know that gen c interviews are a bit tough okay they will ask you a lot of things i have already uploaded several videos on what to prepare make sure to check those videos too now 
results announcement uh, it will take 5 to more uh, 5 to 10 days more okay after the last exam basically your last exam was technical assessment we have seen that cognizant usually takes around 2 weeks of time to uh, to give the or declare the results of your technical assessments okay now talking about interview invites so interview invites via, uh, will be sent via superset portal and it will be an official email so if anyone of you who has received uh, or who will receive please you can share the update with me over instagram dm so that i can update everyone via the videos okay now laptop survey for remote interviews so you have to check your system compatibility basically if the interviews are happening uh, remotely okay for if any for anyone then there will be a system compatibility check email that will be sent to you make sure that you do your system compatibility check otherwise you will face problems during your actual interviews okay and mostly for majority of the cases the interviews will happen offline in the offices so make sure to uh, like reach to the correct place you will get all the details in your email you have to check your inbox regularly this is very very important check your spams also because we have seen that sometimes these kinds of emails go to a spam folder because uh, the timeline will be very short for example today you have got the interview email okay then within one or two days you will be having an interview so if you miss that uh, like if you miss to check your interview for uh, sorry if you miss to check your email for 24 hours then you will be missing both the things that is your email also and your interview also and then it is very next to impossible to get your interviews rescheduled so very importantly please check your emails regularly and keep on repeating side by side now some important points or steps that you have to take before the interview once shortlisted, you will be submit, need to submit the certain documents. Basically, these are the documents that you need to carry, okay? That you need to carry when you are going for your cognizant assessment, uh, sorry, cognizant interviews. What are those documents? Have your 10th, 12th and graduation marks sheets, your provisional degree certificate, your government ID proof, any government ID proof will do, like your uh, Aadhaar card, PAN card, anything. If you have your college ID card, take that also. Updated resume should be there with you. If you feel that your resume was already updated, carry the same up updated resume or if you want if you have any changes make sure to update in the resume and if the interviewer allows you can hand over the updated resume to them if not they will be taking the existing uh, resume that you have uploaded last time if you have any certifications take that along with you you can mention that and then if you have done any projects make sure that you need to upload them on github okay but it is not mandatory because some projects are not hostable i can understand projects related to data science machine learning not everything is hostable whichever is hostable like you know your uh, websites or something try to upload the code on github main, main, mainly 90 percent of the chances are there that they won't ask you to show your product code or anything but it is good to have on github just in case if they want to see they can have a look moving on how can you prepare for your consignment interview so for gen c and gen c pro you have to majorly focus on your technical questions okay like basics of programming your oops concept dbms operating system data structures individual videos are already have uploaded on that cognizant prep playlist on my channel make sure to check that that is mandatory for everyone hr questions for cell uh, for that you have to prepare yourself in uh, introduction strengths weaknesses and situational questions like they will be giving you situations if you will be in this situation what you will be do uh what if you will in in, if you were in that situation what you will do how you will tackle this problem and all those types of questions main thing is be confident okay be confident while answering because that will answer most of your queries okay and also keep a smiling face while you are answering the questions for gen c next you have to prepare advanced uh, programming questions system design and real world problem solving and trending technologies like cloud ai ml devops etc and gen c next interview is also not that tough guys don't get nervous okay just be confident and don't dig in very detail basically whatever answer you are giving just give 30 to 40 seconds of answer for that and you don't have to explain everything in detail it is not like you have to explain the complete thesis on that right so 30 to 40 seconds of answer is more than enough you don't have to dig in very detail now some tips for my end for all the candidates who are preparing for the assessments interviews whatever start preparing now itself don't waste your time in just waiting for your interview emails or your assessment emails because this is the only time when you have to prepare okay for all the ones who are going to appear for your aptitude assessments i have already posted several videos on actual questions that were asked and we have seen that the questions get repeated in aptitude and technical assessment make sure to prepare from the actual questions that were asked previously because that is only going to help you a lot Practice aptitude and technical questions from those videos and you will find everything there. 
make sure to comment down everything that you get uh, that you have any doubts or anything okay because i see on read every doubt of yours maybe i don't get time to reply very soon but i will reply for sure all the doubts that are there okay you, you might have already noticed that i try to reply all the comments that i get on my videos you have to follow the official emails for the updates don't go here and there okay because whatever is there you will get it on your official email don't worry about it don't panic revise your project for all the candidates who are going to appear for interviews because that is most important because project uh, related you know discussion is going to happen around for 10 to 15 minutes in your cognizant gen c interviews this plays a key role and for everyone i just want two things as i mentioned write the word helpful because with that i get to know uh, how many of you are preparing and second thing is write uh, your assessment dates be it your interview assessments uh, like interview dates or your communication assessment whatever I hope I have tried to answer all the major queries and if you have any more please put it in the comment section. I am also planning to bring a QA and a video very soon where I will be picking up the most important comments that I receive on the recent videos of Gen C. I will be answering them. You can join me on Telegram and you can follow me on Instagram as well. You can ask your queries over there too. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss on any of the important updates. Many of the candidates who have like you know. Uh, prepared from my channel last month also get se selected for the gen c role and they have received the offer letters too so if you also want to get selected make sure to subscribe and prepare well because hard work is the only way to get selected that's all for this video thanks for watching the video and i will see you next time